Good morning. Um, thank you uh, for this opportunity to share a little bit. Um, Twelve years ago, I joined a Bible study. Um, Paul Henderson, the great hockey player, started a ministry uh, years ago that brought men together. And we studied the Bible. We memorized scripture. We would come back and share something nice that we did for our wife. And I think maybe I should get back to that, Peg. But um, um, it was a wonderful ministry. And I was invited to this ministry by Sam Mercanti. Some of you may know Sam. Sam runs a very successful business. He drives a Mercedes Benz. He dresses very well. I think that was what appealed to me when I first was invited to this Bible study. I thought, here's a man of wealth. There must be something to this. Here's a man that prays and he's not a minister. There must be something to this. And so I, I went to this group faithfully for a period of time. And uh, on one occasion, he invited us to pray and to, in that prayer, to forgive somebody that had hurt you. And it wasn't too hard for me to think of that person. Uh, this person's name was Rick. And Rick was a manager in a printing company that I worked for, a new manager. And uh, I had worked for this company for about 12 years, up until Rick's arrival, and steady growth and success in my work. And Rick decided um, to move me into a different position so that I wasn't reporting to him. I would be reporting through someone else. And I was very hurt by that. My pride decided, through my prideful way, I decided that I couldn't do that. I had to work for another division. So this steady growth of success started to drop. And I went to work for this company for a year, this other division for a year, and failed miserably. I then went to the VP of HR after that period of time and said, look, we both know what Rick did was wrong. Um, I can't stay in this company. I have to move on. So they gave me a, a modest package. And I left the company and, and started working for another company. And it went from bad to worse. It got bad. It got to the point where I was really concerned about my ability to provide for three daughters and my wife. <clears throat> so in this prayer, I forgave Rick. And I said to God, I would like to tell Rick one day that I forgive him. Fast forward four years. I was in the airport on a flight uh, at the gate for a flight to San Francisco, and I looked across the gate, and there was Rick. And Rick walked directly over to me. We had greetings, and he put his bags down. And he said to me, I have a question to ask you. And remember that now, I think almost 10 years had passed. And I said, go ahead, ask, a que ask the question, Rick. He said, have you forgiven me? So, uh, Orville talked about the thin places a few, few weeks ago. That was a thin place. The spirit was right, right around me. And at the time, we were looking to um, work with a new financial planner. And I thought, boy, when the Lord comes that close to me, I don't want to do anything that would ever disappoint him. And so we, we, we met with a Christian financial planner, and we spent more time in Scripture than we did looking at our investments. We looked at Jeremiah and the truth that, that God has a plan for each of us. And we looked at Deuteronomy, the eighth chapter of Deuteronomy, that all that we have is of, of him, and that the power to earn a living comes from him, and don't forget him. And so, since that time, I've given up on admiring men with Mercedes Benzes and fancy suits. The pursuit of love is far richer than the pursuit of money. I've learned about generosity and to give it away. That's where the true joy comes. I'm more in love with Peggy than the day I married her. 
He's, he's good. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, creator of all, giver of all, thank you. Thank you for the abundance of your provision. Forgive us for living our lives in ways that don't honor you and just forget about you. Help us to understand that you're right beside us at our beck and call at any moment. Father, we thank you for the ways that you've blessed each of us in our lives with all of the resources we need to live. So today, as we bring our gifts to you, we ask for your blessing on those gifts. Multiply them. And use them to your purpose. We ask all this in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus. Amen.